So we are going to solve a quadratic trinomial using a quadratic formula. So when you are going to use, uh, when you're using quadratic formula, just make sure guys that one of the side is equivalent to zero. If it's not equivalent to zero, for example, there are more numbers in here, all you have to do is to bring it to the other side. Next, identify your A, your B, and C. So what is A, what is B, and what is C? A is the number before the x squared. So this is your x squared, this is your A, the number before it. For example, you don't see any number in there. For example, you just see x squared. So it means the number is still 1. There is an imaginary 1 that you don't see in there. So here, our b will be 4. So b is the number before the x. That is our b. And then c is the normal number. Just take note that you are taking their signs. As you can see, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, positive. And next, all you have to do is to put it on our uh, formula. So negative b, so b is 4. So negative 4 plus and minus. Just take note, for example, your b is negative. Since we have a negative in here, it will turn into a positive. Square root of b squared, so 4 squared minus 4 times, I'll just put bracket here, 4 times a and c. a is 2, c is 5. All over 2a. If you are allowed to use calculator, then this will be easier. All you have to do is to put this on the calculator. Just take note, you can put two signs, so you will just first put plus, and then you will get an answer. Once you get an answer, you will now change the plus into minus, and that will be the second answer. Just take note also that when you're squaring, uh, on some calculators, if you square a number, especially if it's negative, it will become negative. Just make sure that this part over here, if it's negative, put a parenthesis, just like this and then square outside in order for you to get the right answer. Now for those who are not allowed to use calculator or who need to simplify this further, this is uh, what we're going to be doing. So continue simplifying one by one. You can simplify them at the same time, but I will do it slowly. So 4 squared, so 16. And then 4 times 2 times negative 5. So 8 times 5, which is 40, and then negative here. So I'll just first copy the negative. My, uh, and then, that's, when I simplify this, that's negative 40 all over, sorry, I did not change my a here, our a is 2. So that will be 4. Continuing, we have now negative 4 plus and minus square root of 56. So 16 minus minus 40, this one will turn into one big plus. So 56 all over 4. So we can simplify this third over here. We can write it as negative 4 plus and minus 2 root uh, 14 all over 4. And then we can still simplify. There's a common factor between this term over here and this term over here. So we have a common factor 2 or negative 2. But I'll just put 2 outside. So I will still have negative 2 plus and minus square root of 14 all over Four, and then we can simplify 2 and 4. This will just be 2. So our final answer will be x is equivalent to negative 2 plus and minus square root of 14 all over 2. So this will be your answer if you are not allowed to use calculator. So we have two possible answers. So you're going to be writing the x sub 1. So x sub 1 is when you remove the minus here. So that is our x sub 1. For our x sub 2, the second x we will be using the minus part. And those are the two answers, but you can just put them as one. So for those students who need to write their answer in three decimal places or maybe two decimals, it depends on the question or the teacher, all you have to do is to put this on the calculator and as simple as that. And you will get an answer here. So I'll just write it on the calculator. So we are going to put it on the calculator. So negative four. So we start with plus, square root of 56, all over 4, and then get the decimal value for that. So approximately 0 0.87 into two decimal places. Now go back, just change the plus now into minus to get our second answer. And that is our second answer, approximately negative 2.87. So for our first answer, it's... 0.87 let's just say two decimal places 
for our second answer, it is equivalent to negative 2.87. And those are the possible answers.